So here we are again. So this time I'm just gonna have a uh, 10% music, at least for a little bit. So where were we? Oh yes. My captain has given me a task. I think she wants to test me. I have to go north, locate the mines, and find out why the iron ore delivery is late. Makes sense to me. So, this time I was smart and not only had a snack before recording, but my water, uh, water container has been filled. I don't know what you'd call this thing, but it's not a cup. Well, anyway, well, let's look around real quick. What is this? Pheromone? A pestle and mortar. Awesome. That's the thing that I might need if I have the money at some point. Oh, hey, jeez. Speaking up. Oh, I got plenty of keys. I can buy a bow and arrows on the archery. Or I can just shoot. Well. I as I can afford a single arrow. Won't give me much good now, will it? Get a pair of the arsenal, buy new or use weapons. The army can always use them. Well. I get the feeling that I'm probably, probably going to need them myself. And the blacksmith makes and sells different weapons. Unfortunately, his offer is limited due to the shortage of iron ore. Well. Well, now I know how to get a dagger. Let's go north. Or is there. Yes, there is. There's some forging to be done. I remember that much. Doesn't look like there's anything else. What do you have to say? Myers looking for a volunteer. Okay. Let's be on the lookout for that dude's wife, whoever she is. The foreman at the mines told me that the delivery of iron ore is late due to goblins. They made a camp in the mountains and they might attack our mines that night. They sold a lot of iron ore and mine tools. The miners are not able to fight them. Every time the goblins come, the miners disappear. Those who don't escape end up dead or captured. Oh. This is really sad. I have to relay this info to the captain. Oh, hopefully you can give me some, uh, standard if you're cool then. I reported the situation in the mines to my captain. He entered the commander's tower and came out with two other soldiers. Scouts. I have a new task. A reconnaissance mission. We are, we are supposed to find a, the goblin camp and plan a possible attack. I'll have the two scouts to help me. Okay, but first... Uh... Where, where is the town? Well, not this way, I don't think. Okay, yeah. I took a break for the day and uh, came back to this. Uh, it's kind of early in the morning. Not too early, but I'm still trying to... But it's going to take me a bit to remember what I was doing. Okay, not to them. Okay, I'm guessing I can't go to the town yet. Maybe it's over this way somewhere. Well, let's continue on. Oh, joy. This path leads up to the mountains. We have to search it. I hope we will manage to find the place where goblins are. This is the goblin camp. We found it. Grr. Ah, men. Catch them. He sees us. Quickly, run away. Ah! Ki kill the men! No, you don't. Or, yes, you do. 
It was terrible. As soon as we found the camp, they saw us and attacked. I was lucky to escape. Unfortunately, my mates didn't have as much luck. They are brave, but they will sure they will be missed. Much like that one archer from la from last recording session. Well, nothing to forge. So, Cam's not gonna be happy to hear this. I reported to my captain on our mission. It was hard to tell him that we lost two experienced scouts. Damn it! It can't be true. They were great men. Tell me quickly. What did you learn about those goblins? I told them everything I was able to learn about those goblins. They are well armed and in great numbers. The captain decided that we can't attack the goblin camp now. We don't have enough weapons due to the lack of iron ore. We have to ensure the protection of the mines and reinstate the delivery of the iron ore. I was asked to build barricades on the mountain path. Then I should help the foreman to reinstate the mines. I'm a little tired first. Oh. I had a good sleep, but an army trumpet woke me up in the morning. Yeah, that's bound to happen when you're when you join the army. What's over here? Okay, okay so this is where the town was. Right at that, we have a we have a full map. That's convenient. Take those away before uh, someone eats them. I'm not sure what that is. The crewer asked me to take the prepared crew to the inn at the crossroads. He is late with the delivery, and he is worried that the innkeeper will yell at him. He will pay for my service, of course. Okay. I made a sad you know, a sad woman next to the house. I felt sorry for her, so I asked her what was going on. She, she told me that her husband had been injured badly at work and his wounds won't heal. The Metacaster told her that there was a rare palm in the swamp. A potion made of its leaves would help her husband, but the poor wo woman can't. The poor woman can't go to the swamp alone. It is very dangerous, and she has to take care of her husband. So it's up to me. There's a lot here. The local priest told me about the problems in the town. The town is being attacked by undead monsters from the cemetery. It has gone so far that people are afraid to go out at night. Nobody knows why the dead don't rest in peace. The priest thinks that the cemetery is under control, the control of dark forces. Unfortunately, there is nobody brave enough to go there at night to investigate. And I've got other crap to worry about. A well-dressed woman stopped me on the street. She said she needs a brave man for a difficult task. She wants to cook a soup for her husband, and she needs golden berries, but real close to the cemetery. The cemetery is the only place where the berries grow. I'll keep an eye out for them. I suppose. The, ah, I found the, found the package for the miner. The griller has decided to build a house for a son who is going to get married soon. It will be a great wedding present. Unfortunately, work on the house is behind schedule, so he's looking for a skilled constructor. I think I can do that. I have some experience in construction. I'll have a look at the house. It is located near the square. The landlord is lost his most skilled servant. He left for the cemetery to pick some herds and has to come back. As there are terrible stories going around about undead monsters in the cemetery, the landlord hasn't found the courage to try to find his servants. And I've got other things to worry about. Mainly, this. I gave him the package. He was really happy. I have no idea what the contents of the, what was the content of the package, but I guess that he has got some sweets. It doesn't matter. The important thing is, I was given a large piece of iron ore as a as a a reward. In other words, I now have a dagger. And I need to deliver some fruit. Have you brought the fruit? Finally! 
I'm so close to have to have nothing to offer. And tell the fruit to work faster next time. Ah, oh, excuse me. I was not gonna be able to eat in time. So I apologize if that sounded gross. Um Okay. I went to the town archives to get some information about the master's friend Gregory. He told me that he didn't work there anymore. They were forced to fire him because he had broken the rules of the archive. But if I really need to talk to him, I can find him at his home. He lives close to the military camp. I wonder what he did. <laughs> no. Oh, right. The freer is glad that I made the delivery for him. He will be much more careful next time so he won't be late. Okay, I was just curious. Well, I'm faffing about. So... I need two workers and five wood. Cool. So let's check out this... Wait a minute. Ugh, crap. I shouldn't have done that. Wait a minute, I... I see you. I asked Gregory about the rare flowers for the Master Herbalist. When I mentioned the flowers, he put down his tools and took me inside. He told me that there are only a few people who know about the flowers I am looking for. It is almost impossible to find them today. He claimed that he was the only one who knew where those flowers could be found. I realized that this information would cost me something. Doesn't it always? Gregory wants me to bring him the Golden Book of Alchemy. The book is in the town archive. He warned me that it wouldn't be easy. The book is not accept accessible for ordinary people. He, even he was fired when he tried to look into into this book. Uh-huh. Do you have a problem? I can help you. Well, that's... that was quick. The local thief offers me his help. How can a thief help me? I think I should stay away from him. Are you looking for something? I can get it for you. As I was thinking about I realized that I needed the Golden Book of Alchemy for Gregory. I can ask the thief to get it for me. Okay, no problem. It's yours by the morning. Though even the thief's job has its price. Doesn't it usually? Let's check out the cemetery then. I can see skeletons walking around the cemetery. The sound made by their bones and teeth is terrible. I have to get closer if I want to know more. I need a shield and a healing potion. Now, there's crabs. I need a basket. And I'll need a shield as well. Well... Quickly, I've got that on me. Let it go through, yes. Yes, it did. Cool. I'll worry about getting the book uh, later. But for now, I need to grab me a shield. Wait. Wrong guy. Nope. Nope. Where right, can I grab a shield? There's some handyman on the terrace asking for work. I need a shield. Uh, 
Okay, another place to sell my stuff. What? Oh yeah, train. Yeah, no. What's over here? You look like you can be, should be click, uh, able to be clicked on, but you're not. I almost uh, missed the eggs. The fisherman asked me to bring dinner from his wife, who's okay. I told the woman to come. That I had to take. Come to take dinner for her husband, the fisherman. She was shocked. She had been busy working in her garden and had forgotten to go shopping. All right, what do you need? All right, I'll grab the bread for you. No. Good thing I already had the meat. She went to her kitchen to make her husband's dinner. I couldn't believe how quickly she returned with the dinner that smelled delicious. Alright, here you go. It's like a... Thank you, stranger. You know, that looks like a real short walking distance, but... Oh, I don't know. But hey! I got fish and fame! Anyway. The stable man is very sad. When I asked him what happened, he told me a terrible story about a pack of wolves from the forest. He told me about a big black wolf he called the Beast. The story is really unbelievable. No wonder he couldn't convince the guards that he was telling the truth. I promised him that I would check out the wolves so he calmed down. <sighs> really? Oh god, the civil man was telling the truth. I need... I need to hire some guys. Okay. All this because I'm looking for a, a shield. Just to attack these skeletons. Alternatively, I can always just go about selling things. I've got a crap load of eggs that I'm not really using. I also need some wood up here uh, for this, and oh, and some handy uh, some markers. And then there's this guy. Here. Oh, he just needs uh, 150 gold for more advanced hunting skills. You know, I'm just gonna go for the hunting skills. For all everything you wanted, it was quite a lot. And yeah, no crap. I learned how to use a bow, creep quietly, and hunt deer. The hunter told me that he had found a lot of useful stuff on his trips that had been lost by other people. All I need to do is find lost crates and barrels. It also told me about a hidden meadow full of animals to hunt. The easiest way to get there is from the fishing village. And, oh, it looks like... Okay. Awesome. I'm not sure if there's any other use for uh, wolfers. So I'll just sell the one for the time being. And we have a path. I don't think that count, these count as lost. Uh, I'm just looking over here for any uh, salvageables. 
<laughs> of course. I shouldn't be surprised that hunting requires a bow and arrows. That makes sense if you think about it. This is the secret meadow mentioned by the hunter Brent. It looks like a pleasant meadow. Some salvageables. That's gonna come in handy. Eventually I'll find someone who's willing to buy poisonous mushrooms. Ooh, arrows! That'll come in handy once I have a bow. Which is soon to happen, it looks like. Master Hunter asked me to help him with the repair of this hunting tower. Well, later. Knowing the hired help in this game, they'll do one job and then uh, go back home. It makes sense if you think about it. I'm only paying them for one job. Alright, fishing. This person. Uh... Ooh, money! And a torch! Rocks. Yeah, something else I get to keep an eye out for. Seventy! Ugh, I should not be surprised, but... Yeesh! Uh, I hope it'll pay off in the long run. I also need to get some wood at some point. And that's how hunting works. Okay. It's safe to say that clicking on these abandoned crates and whatnot is a great way to restock on, on, on random supplies for free. It's safe to say that I'm not going to be able to do that with, uh, workers. Because that would make no sense whatsoever in any universe. Ooh, another fishing rod. That fills me with a sense of dread. Although, that gives me an idea. And that's, that's why I returned home. Sweet, a barrel. I still think that I should be able to salvage things from these here trees. But what do I know? Hunting the lynx. Uh, how many arrows do I have? Set only seven. I think I'll save those for now. You don't sell wood. That kind of need. I didn't see a shield either. I'll keep. I'll keep my food for the time being. Ooh, money! 
Ooh. Random grain. That was left on the side of the road for some reason. I'm sure it's still good. Nothing else over here. But I do need a... Oh, abandoned crate. But I do need to buy some wood. While hunting deer, my bow is damaged. I think I cannot fix it. <sighs> I shouldn't be surprised. Hmm. You know what? I suddenly feel like hiring somebody to do some dirty work for me. Oops, too far. There you go, my friend. Great, we can meet in the morning behind the church. And I get no rest whatsoever. Hey, I have it. Come here. The thief gave me the golden book of alchemy. I don't want to know how he got it. Let's just take that before some, some unsuspecting fool decides I have a ill-advised smack. That took me a little long to get out because I felt like I had to cough. Hope you didn't hear that. Anyway... Gregory won- Here you go, Gregory. I already read that. I cannot believe it! The Golden Book of Alchemy! Gregory was out of his mind. His hands trembled as he grasped the, his desired book. He started to scan the pages immediately, eager to read it. I was forced to interrupt him so he could tell me about the flowers. He told me that those rare flowers were right behind the castle, but they are considered to be the last of their kind. Naturally. Rocks. So they're right behind the castle. Okay. Um... Let's go take a look. Let's go get some sleep first. For the price of a cheese. Ooh, two empty sacks. Rare flowers. Do one of those again? I figure- Ooh, a saw! I think I remember. That's a lost barrel. Ooh, bait. I haven't fished in a while, so... That's right, you one of these. He was really shocked when he saw when he saw me with a basket full of valuable flowers. I think he didn't expect it. He pulled out three purses full of gold. Awesome! As he promised, he taught me how to make a sun solution. He also gave me some magic mushrooms, which can be found in the woods, and probably not eaten. I am sure I can find some on my own if I am careful. Sweet. Sun solution! I don't want to buy any stuff 
for any new things unless I absolutely have to. I'm sure someone somewhere is going to want these magical mushrooms. 